Tom. I'm a professional chef. I've trained all over the world. I've learned all kinds of color secrets. Now I'm going to teach them to you. So we do nothing but basic knife skills. So a couple things we have to talk about first before we start this is actually how to hold your knife. Uh, you know, I see a lot of people holding fingers here, up here like this, uh, all different kinds of ways. But the really way you want to hold your knife is you want to have your, your middle finger right here so your knife kind of balance on it. Your thumb and your pointing finger should be held right here. So like if there was a hole in between the knife, it would uh, they'd be touching and these last two fingers kind of help balance the knife out so this will be your, your motion to hold the knife so uh, what I see a lot of people do along with this is they kind of grip the knife like this so the knife the hand starts shaking it's really uh, tight but in all actuality you should kind of be able to pull the knife out of your hand when you start cutting so uh, this carrot here is going to teach you a lot about how to hold the knife and um, basic knife skills so what we do is uh, just cut a little bit of the top off Cut some little pieces, make it easier to work with. Cut this in half, and now we're going to begin. Now, what we're going to do here is you see a lot of people doing these fancy things, and, and sometimes you do that, but with a carrot, I'm going to show you the, the really proper way how to slice the carrot. Now, hand position is extremely important. So you want to put your hands down like this, and you want to have, make sure your pinky and your thumb are behind the knife. Uh, obviously, you get them in front of it like that, you're going to get your feelings hurt, and that'd be kind of a bad day. So, getting started, uh, these two fingers are going to kind of claw, hold on to the carrot. These two fingers here are going to be your guide. So, what you want to do is put your knife right up against your fingers. Again, your fingers are cocked back, so you don't get caught. If you have them all like this, you're going to cut yourself. So, hold them back a little bit, and again, you want to have your knife right up against there. You want to slice it down. And again, slice it, slice it, slice it. Now, when you're doing these slices, uh, one of the exercises I like to have people do is try to get them as thin as possible. So cut it thin. And when you're practicing this, don't try to go fast. Uh, get the technique down. Speed will come with time. So again, thin, thin, thin. Uh, what I see a lot of people doing is what I call the paper cutter. And I'll put the knife down stationary and I'll cut, cut, cut. And that does the job, uh, but not that great. So make sure you have a nice, smooth rocking motion on there. Another thing I see people do that's kind of wrong is actually take the knife down and just try to push it through. And again, it'll work, but you know, when you have to do one carrot or one onion or one piece of celery, you can kind of hold the knife any way you want or do any technique and you'll probably get through it. But if you have to do like a thousand of these or 50 pounds of carrots at a time, uh, you're going to have a bad day. So again, slice, slice, rocking motion on a knife. So once we're at the end of the carrot, the next part of the exercise is to take these guys here and actually begin again. Now, when you're doing this rocking motion, uh, again, be smart with it. Uh, work smart, not hard. Again, we're doing one carrot today, so this may not make a whole lot of sense for you, but if you have to do a lot of carrots, uh, this will definitely get you. So, uh, since this is so small, I want to start using the back of the blade. See? So I, I don't have to lift the blade up too much to get this cut going, uh, but I still get the job done. I still get my rocking motion. Everything is there. Again, what I see a lot of people doing, we'll try to rock up here and try to come down. And, you know, your hand has to come up much higher. And, again, today, if you do a one carrot or two carrots, not a problem. But proper technique, we'll be back here. And much less work. Uh, same product being done. Again, when you do anything, there's two ways you learn it. The easy way, the hard way. The easy way is going to be, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this technique. You're going to say, oh, God, Chef, you know, that was a great technique. I got it. 
or you know you could try doing it yourself and your technique might be a little bit off but what's going to happen is if you hold the knife wrong your hands will start uh, cramping up you start getting blisters um, or again you could probably cut yourself uh, but you know everyone can't learn the technique the easy way so sometimes you will cut yourself uh, this will not be the easiest technique to learn but you'll get it uh, with a lot of practice Before you start in knife skills, you want to do is make sure your knife sharp. What I usually do is take my thumb and run over the blade, and what I'm feeling for is the edge. Is the edge really sharp? Is it tough on my fingers? Is it smooth on my fingers? If it's smooth on my finger, it's going to be a really dull knife. Don't drag it down the knife, it'll cut you. But just uh, just run it across there and see how it feels. So my knife is nice and sharp. Uh, I sharp myself. but. Uh, I recommend that you take your knife to a professional person uh, probably at least once a year to make sure it uh, maintains a manufacturer's edge. Before you start any knife skill exercise, what you want to do is steal the blade. And what stealing does is it hones the blade. It doesn't really sharpen it, but it just puts out a nice nice edge on it. So doing this, you want to steal on an 18 to 20 degree angle. And you're looking, well, 